Hey, this is Mike Dewar from the barbellceo.com. So today we're going to go over how to set up your email list on MailChimp. Um, so I'm going to show you kind of my end product for what it looks like on my website, and then we're going to backtrack how you would do that. So if you head to my website here, the barbellceo.com, and you go just to our uh, couple pages here, the main homepage on every single page I've put together a footer email opt-in right through here. So when people click on it, um, they get automatically directed to put their email in here. This is a custom thing that I've made, very simple and easy through MailChimp. So you can also have a standing page and you can put the subscribe button and this is something I have on my website on Squarespace which will be another uh, tutorial video that you can check out on my channel. So what you want to do to get this all set up is we're going to go into uh, MailChimp.com. You can sign up for a free account and you know they have a couple cool plans. We have the business account. So you're going to go into your login, and once you're logged in, you're going to come into this interface. So I'm just going to show you the back end of what it looks like here. So we have uh, a couple lists. Um, so look at your list. An email list essentially is where you're going to direct people uh, on your back end so you can see who's in the list. And uh, you're going to want to make sure, first and foremost, that you have specific lists for your subscribers. So if you have a blog, um, you know, the Barbell CEO, I started this a couple days ago actually. Um, it's been in here, so it's 13, 13 subscribers. So anybody in this, I know exactly what they're subscribing to. So I don't target, you know, free workout plans to these guys. Um, you know, in our, uh, as you guys know, I'm a fitness professional, so I have my own training business. Uh, my active clients get different emails than, say, for prospective leads. So you want to make sure that you know exactly where you're getting your leads from, your email subscribers. That way, you can target uh, certain uh, messages and email content. So how do you set up a, a list here? You want to go to your list up top, and you're going to create a list. And just for to get started, you know, you can make groups, and that's a whole other video, but you just want to create a list. And all you're going to do is your list name. People are going to see this, so make sure it's something that's appropriate and that you can really see it. So I'm going to put the Barbell CEO Newbies. That's you guys. Um, default from name. That's me. Uh, and then, oh, that's the email. So you can put here, and if you have multiple lists, it's just going to remember who you are. And then you want to make sure that you put together just a reminder. People want to know, you know, so it's not spammy. Um, so this is, you know, you subscribe on Barbell CEO. And then I personally like to get notifications to everyone so I can then shoot them an email and say, hey, thanks for subscribing. And I'll show you how to do that. I just set up email automation, which is another video that you can check out on my channel. So once you're done with that, you're going to push save. And now we're going to get into the, the main back part here of how do you then set up your sign-up forms. So you can see here, no subscriber information. You have full stats. You can manage your subscribers. So if you want to manually add them, uh, somebody emails you or you're at an event, you can easily do that. They have a MailChimp app. Um, and you can go to sign-up forms here. And you first one want to start off just building your general form. So you're going to select this here, and it's already a pre-made one if you want to add it all customized with your logo or with uh, certain you know certain information here so this is what somebody would see if they went in there right they wouldn't see all this back end but they would see the barber CEOs email blah 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 so I if you want to delete a box you just push the minimize everything so you gotta confirm it twice just so you don't delete something you didn't mean to if you want to design it you just click design it and you can change the background colors the headers you can go in here and you can edit this and say I want to get rid of that. I want to put a picture. Um, so this is, an, as you build out your, you know, we've been doing this for a couple years here. So we have a bunch of, uh, of media on here. Um, you can reuse the media and select it. You can import from a URL. You can upload it from your computer. So I'm just going to select this one. This is the one I have on my website that everybody can see. Um, you can change the dimensions. You can link it to a URL, so if somebody clicks it, you know, they, you're going to take them off somewhere else. But I don't recommend that. You're just trying to get their email here and really get them back to your site. So you're going to save that image. You can center it. And now it's going to look like that when they come. You can add a little message. Hey, thanks. You can see it's a Saturday morning here, and I'm typing real good. Um, so, okay, we're done with that. 
Now what you're going to do is it's going to auto save, so you really don't have to do anything. You can translate it if you want to go to a different language, but uh, we're in uh, New York here, so America. So once you're done building it, you have a couple cool things you can do. This is your custom URL. So if you're big on Twitter, you're big on Facebook, uh, you can automatically just say, hey, you know, guys, if you're really looking for, uh, looking for you know, building your business and building your fitness brand, you guys should check out my blog, and you tweet that. And what somebody's going to get is when they click that link, they're going to automatically go into your email opt-in. Um, and you know you can put anything in here so you know you can give them a short description and that's just a one-step way of making it easy for them to sign up onto your uh, email so oh, that's the wrong one where are we at here there you go um, cool so you could also then take this and once you're done with this all you have to do is you can just go back and it's gonna also uh, save it so you can embed the form you can embed that uh, HTML code into your back end of your WordPress, your Squarespace site. Uh, you can then also do cool little subscriber pop-ups. So if you've ever been to a website before where you go and you know within a couple seconds it's a, it's a pop-up that kind of pops up on there and you know it's it's being tastefully done and not spammy um, but you can definitely do it. I have it on my website so if you head over to the barbellceo.com you'll see within a couple seconds you know you're gonna get hey you know join our join our Barbell CEO club um, so once again, you can go in here and you can, you know, type content in. You can put cool little pictures. It'll show you the mobile view, desktop view, and then you would generate a code, and you would put that, you know, copy and paste it on your HTML box on your website, which is a whole nother video we can go, and it's really easy. Um, so you'll publish it, and then it'll be live. So that is how you start. Uh, a email list and then you're also able to then take that code and you can put it on your website you can tweet the little URL link you can integrate it with other forms you can put it in Facebook on your page all kinds of great stuff that you could do really simple really easy I'm a really big fan of MailChimp so that is uh, that's how you do this make sure you subscribe that little red button down at the bottom of our YouTube channel and I look forward to uh, talking to you guys soon